All right, let's get into it. Martin Carefoot exposed. Let's let's talk about this fraud farmer who says Tyson Fury owes him 25k. Let's let's go deep into the story and let's see if this guy is really who he says he is. T King Fight News, man. We got more on this. All right. Back in the building, man. On some quarantine shit. T King Fight News. You know, we we out here. We still out here. Let's talk about this uh Tyson Fury. Let's talk about the boar. Let's talk about the wild boar. Now you know what? Everybody knows Tyson Fury told the fib, man. Like, is Tyson Fury a liar about this shit? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he probably didn't get that Nandrolone from a pig. From a wild pig. <laughs> he probably didn't get that Nandrolone from a wild pig. Right? Like, let's keep it 100. But at that time, he, he, he showed some evidence. Now, was that false evidence? We don't know. Right? He, he, we do know that this guy, Martin Carefoot, signed on paper in court of law that he provided Tyson Fury with some wild boar. That's the only thing that we know is true. Everything else is like up in the air. Uh, Frank Warren has come out and stated this guy, Carefoot, did sign an affidavit that basically substantiated Tyson Fury's claims, right? But here, here this farmer is now, five years later, saying, I didn't get paid. Now, I don't know about you, but if, if I made a deal with somebody that had 25,000 pounds on the line, which is really 30 grand. Let's call it 30 grand. If you made a deal with somebody for 30 grand five years ago, you haven't been paid. Would you wait five years to come out and make it make a big fuss about it and make it public? Would you wait five years to do that? Like legit? Or even if, okay, they say you tried to contact Frank. Frank Warren said he contacted them last year. So would you wait four years to try and get your bread. Would anybody try and do that? Like logic. Would you would you really wait four years to try and get your bread? Would you try and call this dude out? Would you try and get him? Even up in at any given time, you could be calling Frank Warren, you'd be calling Team Fury up. Uh you should have their contacts. You don't have their contacts, they're on social media. They're not on social media. You you have the same way you you that you found Daily Mail. You could have got Daily Mail a whole lot earlier with the story. I just don't get how it took four or five years to come out with this shit. If you ask me, if you ask me, if Deontay Wilder ended up knocking Tyson Fury out, I don't think we would know about this guy. I don't think we would have heard about this guy. He you probably still would be non-existent, and he would be some local UK farmer. The only reason this guy came out is is in the aftermath. I'm talking about like like four weeks later, three weeks later after Tyson Fury knocked Deontay Wilder out. It's the only reason why this guy coming out, and I think that's I think that's all facts. I I don't think he would have came out if if Wilder won the fight. He would have been like, oh shit, yeah, yeah, that's what you get. <laughs> he probably would have probably would have left it at that. Um. But you know what? T King Fight News, let's let's go into exactly what he said. Let's go into exactly what he said right now. And let's talk about it, man. Alright, so this is the Daily Mail article. This is this is supposed to be the smoking gun, right? The Daily Mail article. In 2017, right? Okay, that's three years ago. Carefoot completed two signed witness statements to say he provided wild boar to the Furies, which were passed. To the boxers lawyers Morgan Sports Law who gave them to anti-doping investigators the second included a line that read I supplied a range of animal meats and offal to Team Fury including wild boar and pigs careful now claims those statements 
which are in the possession of the mail on Sunday were lies. He said, I never kept wild boar. I've never killed a wild boar. In making the allegation that he received an offer for 25,000 pounds for this help, Carefoot told the Daily Mail, I, would, I, was, I just went along with it. And they always dangled this carrot that I was going to get paid. And when things got quite serious, they offered me a sum of money before it went to court in London. And the sum of money after, I went along with them because I suppose in my own way, I was just helping them out. I suppose if I had to, I was in too deep. They were dangling this carrot. I thought, you're going to get 25 grand for this. It's not a hanging matter, so I went along with it. Okay. So let's, let, let's, let's take a deeper look, right? He says, when things got quite serious, they offered me a sum of money before it went to court in London and a sum of money after. And he also said he was going to get 25 grand for, it, for this. Now, if you ask me, this is what happened. This is what happened. All right, so the guy Carefoot, said he was supposed to get paid some money before a court date and some money after a court date, right? So, it sounds like this guy just signed those witness statements for free. Now, if you ask me, if you're if you're a guy that's going to help out this guy for money, if you're going to sign something for them, you should be getting paid. So let's assume he got paid. And then they said, okay, but we got 25 Gs for you. You know, if you help us out a little bit more. We got court date coming up, you know? And of course this guy's like, oh yeah, I want that 25. So he he wait well, first of all, he said he didn't get paid a dime, right? Okay, let's 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 be fair. I don't know if he got paid. But what I do know is if you're gonna fucking sign some shit, you should be getting paid for that. You shouldn't be waiting. You should be getting paid right there and then. You know like when a lawyer signs some shit for you? When he's got to do like a, a fucking, what you call it? You know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. When, when he's got to uh, put the stamp on it and sign, notarize. When he notarizes some shit. You know, you go to that lawyer, you got some paperwork for him. He's got to notarize. He puts a stamp on it, signs it. You swear it's all, everything here is honest and truthful. Okay, it's good. Pay the lawyer. He signed that shit for you. This dude should have been getting paid every time he signed something. So if you ask me, this dude's already an idiot. He's already an idiot. But then, of course, they want him to testify in court. They want him to testify. And I think this is where the 25 G's is coming from. Because, okay, you're going to do us a big solid, come to court for us. Be a witness, right? He's talking about being a witness for them. He's already signed witness documents. So, right? And guess what? Tyson Fury ends up settling his case with UCAD. We don't know what the settlement was, but it, we do know it was backdated two years. And they basically let him fight on. They said, okay, sufficient evidence. Let's settle. It's now settled. So what do we do with this farmer? We said, okay, if you, if you did us a solid for a court date, we're going we gonna to get you, get you some bread. Guess what? There was no court date. Right? They settled what you can. So what do you do with this farmer? You tell him to fuck off. Okay, you know, you should have gave him some hush. Like, the only mistake on Tyson Fury's part is you should have gave him some hush money. Should have gave it because if he took some hush money, here's the thing: if you give him hush money, then that implicates you, right? Unless you get you, what you do is you get a fucking stranger. You you get a stranger to give him an envelope full of cash, right? You get you get some little kid to give him an envelope full of cash. That's what you do. They didn't apparently they didn't they forgot that part. Apparently they forgot that part. But y'all know what it is, man. Like, like who the fuck gives a shit about this farmer? Like, who really gives a shit about... The only people that give a shit about this farmer is people that want to implicate Tyson Fury 
and get him investigated because of what they think happened in the Wilder rematch. Tell me I'm lying. And I, I, I can, I can, I'm the, I'm the guy that actually did the glove experiment along with the kid Young Pharaoh, right? I don't see anybody else out here doing the glove experiment, actually doing the experiment. I did it. Some dudes at the Mayweather gym did it. I think uh, the brother, my my guy, uh, Mr. Boxing today, I think he did it. I, I saw I saw a video of him with some gloves on, so maybe he did it. Um, but let's be, who the fuck gives a shit about this farmer? Like, who, do, do, did any of us really care about what happened in 2015? We all know he cheated. We all know he tested positive in 2015. This shit is not no new information. The only thing that's new for me is that he used a wild boar excuse. But maybe if you looked into it, you would have you found out he used a wild boar excuse. Oh, it's contaminated meat. Okay. I mean, shit. Let's not act like Deontay Wilder didn't fight Luis Ortiz after he tested positive. Let's not act like uh, Deontay Wilder might not go ahead and fight uh, another guy who may have tested positive. Right? Dillian White. Let's not go ahead and think he might not fight Dillian White who has tested positive for something. D-ball, whatever. D-ball, D- whatever that drug is. So, what are we really talking about here, man? Are we really talking about this guy? This fucking farmer? Are we really talking about this guy who wants to come out three years later um, and, and basically character assassinate the guy for, for what? For Because he did some bad business? Because he didn't make sure he got his money. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. And I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to make him the fucking bad guy, but he, he sure is a fucking idiot. He ain't the smartest guy in the world. Right? Um, all things considered, all things considered, I don't think we would have heard about this guy. If Tyson Fury lost to Deontay Wilder the first fight or the second fight. We wouldn't have heard about this guy. We didn't even hear about him. Like, you think he would have said something, um, like, right away. Like, you know, if someone owes you 25, you're going to do something right away. But, I mean, shit, man. People, people out here, you know, like, this shit came up right around the time coronavirus came up. Right around that time, maybe this dude needs some bread, man. Maybe maybe he really needs some money. Maybe he's like, oh, yeah, man, these guys, these guys, yo, I got the evidence, yo. So he's going to come out and say he's an admitted liar and sell that story to a fucking yeah, man. This is some, this is some greasy ass shit. It is. It's some greasy ass shit. There, you know what? I don't buy it, man. I don't buy it, man. This dude. Something, something fishy about that farmer. I'll tell you this. Something fishy about this farmer that's coming out of nowhere. That's just coming out of nowhere. Like, I told you this whole story is so absurd. And the fact that you know, a lot of people online are giving it credit. It's just, it's just not a good look, man. I, I don't see it as a good look. Y'all let me know what you think. It's he can't fight you. Smash the like button. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Do y'all really care about this farmer? Before I have to go in again, man, see King Fight News, man. Peace.